Minute, 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 minute. Library minute. Hey kids, Mr. DeBrew here with your library minute. We have a new tool for getting ebooks and audiobooks. It's called Sora. I'm pretty psyched about it. Let's go! Sora is a way to access ebooks and audiobooks. We just bought almost 800 new copies for you guys, so there's a lot of stuff there. The best way to find it is to go to ClassLink. If you go ClassLink Issaquah, Log into class link. When you log into class link, you're going to use your regular network uh, credentials. So your username is the first four letters of your last name, first three of your first name, and your graduation year, and your password is your ID number. Okay, so once you log into class link, go down to Sora, click on Sora Overdrive. You can also download the Sora app to your device. And this shows, your, your, your first screen here shows everything that's available right now. I'm going to look at over 1,300 books. And if you scroll down, you can see that there is a lot of good stuff here. Uh, let's say I wanted to look at The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. Before I check it out, though, I want to read a sample before I borrow it. So I'm going to click Read Sample. And the reason for that is because some of these have only a limited number of checkouts available, like 26, and then it disappears. So you don't want to check something out unless you're sure that you want to actually read it. So what this does is it actually gives you like 20-some pages that you can preview, see if you want to check out the book, and then if you do, you can close this. If you do, you can click Borrow. Click Borrow here. It's loading. You can also load it, sync it to your um, device. Okay. Uh, and then here's the actual book, right? You can, if you go down to the bottom, you can scroll through different pages, etc. cetera. Um, now, once you're done with the book, I would really like you to return it so that other people can get the book. And the way you do that, is you close it up here and then under options well first of all to see what you have checked out there's a button at the bottom called shelf you click on the shelf button and that shows what you have checked out right now um, and then if you click on options you can do different things you can so there it's due in 13 days so you, you're gonna have it for two weeks uh, you can send it to your Kindle if you want to. You can return it, which I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to click return, and then return, and now it's available for somebody else because most of these are available for only one person at a time. So then at the bottom, uh, I'm going to click on Explore, and this will bring me, bring me back to where we were before. So you can search. I'm going to search like for you know book by, books by Rick Riordan, and this shows all the books that are available by him. And again, I would implore you to read a sample of a book first. And again, you can download this app on your phone, on your tablet, whatever you have at home. The other thing you can do that's really cool is you can link this to the King County Library System so that you can access all of their ebooks and audiobooks as well um, through this one portal. And the way you do that is in the top right hand corner, you will see three horizontal lines. You click on that, and then you go to add a library. Add a library. And if you just type in King, King County Library System, this is my library. Okay, so here's a bunch of stuff that's in King County Library System. Go under Collections, and you can search all within King County Library. Now, the first time that you borrow a book from King County Library, it is going to ask you for your 
King County credentials. So you click borrow, and then it's going to ask for your library card and PIN. If you have a King County library card, you can enter it here. Um, if you don't, use your student account, which is the number 411, plus your seven-digit student ID number for a library card, and your PIN is the last four digits of your student ID number. And all these directions are going to be on the library canvas page. All right. Have fun reading. This has been your Library Minute. I'm out. Library Minute.